Yet again, we have more proof that the liberals are terrified of Pierre Polyev. Whatever he says, whatever he does, he gets more scrutiny, gets more backlash than any other politician. The leader of Canada's opposition, Pierre Polyev, is kind of taking on the behemoth. He feels like he's Hercules taking on the system. Anyways, in this video, they threatened to kick him out because he brought a book to a question period. Liberals have their scripts. They're always holding a piece of paper. Why can't he bring a book? You're going to want to stick around and watch the full debate because it's it gets pretty intense. This is from today's question period. Down below in the middle of the screen is me watching today's question period. So technically, we're watching me watching me watch question period. It's inception. Don't question it. It is what it is. And therein lies the problem. The government will get to decide what is the right side of the debate and shut down everyone they consider to be on the wrong side. Let's be clear. This bill doesn't hurt big tech. They'll still monopolize all of social media. Their platforms will still dominate. It's just that government bureaucrats will be able to manipulate the algorithms to shut down the voices of individual yep, 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 Canadians. Yep, 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 experts on freedom of expression yep. online say that. And so does Margaret Atwood, who calls this creeping totalitarianism. If the Prime Minister is not afraid of debate, why is he so determined to shut it down? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. The reality is, is that right now the tech, tech giants are not paying their fair share. And 71% of Canadians agree that they should be doing so. Nope. And this is the reason That's not why. true. That's why we are making sure that we have C11 to deal with this job. We know that the web giants must do more. Mr. Speaker, more for our culture, more for our local media, more to protect our children. That's exactly what we're doing. Why are they against that? Because it doesn't help Canadians, dude. It doesn't help Canadians, dude. Freedom of speech, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Big talk, big tech has no problem with this bill. They'll keep making money hand over fist because of their oligopoly. The government doesn't want to break up that oligopoly. They've been sucking up to big tip tech for the last eight <laughs> years. What they want to do is shut down debate. Mr. Speaker, Here it is. Canadians want the freedom to express themselves without government control. Ask the honorable member to put his prop down, please. Come on. I think he's been around long enough to know what a prop is. I don't have to explain it. Whoa! Seconds left. It is a book, and it's still legal, Mr. Speaker. Oh! Oh! It stop its attack on freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, Pierre. let's go, Pierre! Speaker, like the member opposite, the leader of the opposition, I have dedicated my life to ensuring that free speech occurs in this country. The holding up a book and pretending that this is about anything other than making sure that big tech pays their fair share, that they pay their fair share to our artists and creators in this country, trying to pretend that there's anybody in this house who believes anything other than free speech, it's the very reason that member could go all over the country and say all kinds of nonsense that I disagree with because we have free speech in this country. Yeah, all right. Oh, God. They're mad. No, <laughs> look at his grin. Mr. Speaker, and I want to assure him that as long as we have free speech, I'll keep beating that party in debate. Oh! Oh! Let's, let's, let's turn to another uh, falsehood this government spread. They claim that their carbon tax would make everybody better off. But now, their own parliamentary budget officer revealed that Nova Scotians and Newfoundlanders, just like people right across the country, will pay about $1,500 more in carbon taxes than they get back in rebates, directly contradicting this government. Why have they misled the people of Atlantic Canada with this sneaky tax? Oh, my I'm Unbelievable. Environment. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And indeed, Mr. Speaker, good news is coming to Atlantic Canada on July 1st. The climate rebate uh, will be coming to Atlantic Canada. That will mean up to $1,000 for a family of, of four in Nova Scotia. All right, Terry, shut the hell up. I love this clip. Pierre is a wizard. He's a mastermind in question period. And I'm all about it. I'd love to know what you think down in the chat. Do you think that Pierre won that? Do you think that that was a good zinger? <laughs> he, he knows the rules of the house. He's a nerd. Look at him. He's got glasses. He's a nerd. Of course he knows what's up. He wouldn't do something that he's not supposed to. Give a like on the video if you haven't already. Check to see if you're subscribed. 
might as well hit that button to turn post notifications on so you can stay up to date on all of the best Canadian content. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the entire video. If you want to help grow this channel, you can like and subscribe. I've made it really easy for you. You can subscribe by hitting this button right there. Or if you want to continue watching another video, you can do so right here. And if you'd like to move on to question period highlights, I have an additional channel called House of Canada, and that is linked right there. Basically, it's just Trudeau getting completely destroyed and Jagmeet gets pegged by Trudeau because that's what he is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.